All right, everybody. Uh, so goosebumps the game. I've actually been meaning to stream this for a while since it was announced. Um, uh, but um, uh, me and R.L. Stein, me and my good old guy R.L. Stein. Now, if you don't know wh wh why uh, I have a beef with R.L. Stein, it's it's probably because uh, the guy stole my idea for Hell Park. Or yeah, you know, he did his own book, and I didn't know about it. But you know, of course, he stole the idea first. Uh, and he's got some real fuck me. <laughs> Garbage! By the way, did you know that Goosebumps is getting a fucking movie with Jack Black in it? Like, I just found out about it. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And, like, R.L. Stein is played by... Okay, so the Goosebumps movie is like a fourth wall breaking thing. Or not fourth wall, but it's, it's like in a universe set in the real world where R.L. Stein has read his books and they come to life. And he's played by Jack Black. Uh, yeah, Jack Black's gonna play the, the garbage, the trash. Holy shit. Oh, it's already out. What the fuck? Is it good? Is it good? It was pretty bad. Damn it. Damn it. Oil Stein, you fuck. <laughs> I stole the idea first. Yeah. It was okay, nothing that good. Yeah. I mean, it, it's like children's horror book. Uh, but I made a joke, too, about R.L. Stein that, you know, at, at day, he writes horror stories, but at night, adult horror stories, yeah. Horror stories for kids with a sexual twist. <laughs> Viewers beware. You're in for a sexy scare. Mm, yes. Mm, well. Oh, my fucking God. Anyway, let's boot this up. Goosebumps. I love the word goosebump. Uh, I don't know what. Do, do, do geese have really naughty skin? I mean, yes, I know what what it like it represents, but it just sounds so weird. Goosebumps. Get out of here, Oil Stein! You smug piece of shit. God damn. God damn, son. Anyway, here it is. Oh boy! I, seriously, if this doesn't have the bum 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 and the, the the dog with the glowing eyes, oh, is it here? I really hope it's a theme. Kick it in, kick it in, man. It's by school tastic, so you know it's it's the real thing. You're in for a scare. I hope they have uh... Oh, come on. No. Bum 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 bum. Bada bada buda bada buda bada buda bada. Fine, I'll fix it. Jesus Christ. It's so hard to like, you know. I guess I use this a, a MIDI version or a piano version, whatever. <laughs> For a scare! Hope it has the dog in it too. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta do the, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Hang on. I like the cap here. Dog barking. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Bumps is uh, a broadcast in front of a live audience. Uh, anyway, that that's that's the the old goosebumps, you know it. But uh, let's let's play this thing. I'm kind of disappointed it did not include uh, the goosebumps scene. But come, come on, name your character. I will be. Uh, uh, who will I be this time? Uh, it's a song, but slower, is it? I'm not really hearing it. Yeah, there you go. I he heard the little jingle. Uh, my name will be... Uh, Doctor... No, what? what is the short, short name of a detective? Uh, oh, P 
private? Is it private? No, that, that, that's that's soldier. That's not a private detective. These guys. What is a what is a like a, a you know detective guy in shortened terms? What what is it? Uh, lieutenant. Is it lieutenant? Uh. <laughs> Show so much I know. Dick. It's Dick. All right. Okay. Fine. Dick Pepper. Oh, P.I. Oh, I'm sorry. Private investigator. <laughs> Dr. Pepper! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, he's... You know... Jesus Christ. Pep... Pepper. Okay, I guess I can't type now. What is this? Oh, you can only... What the hell? Hang on, what? A A A A A A A. What? How many is that? Like, what? Seven letters? Fine, okay. P.I. Pepper. P pip pip Pepper. Fine. P.I. Pep. Peep. Alright, fine. Fine. Oh, I'll do this then. P.I. Pep. There you go. Choose your gender. I'd like to be an attack helicopter, you, you insensitive, triggering, you know, douche. This guy creeps me out. We better, we better get a big tip. If you're that concerned, maybe try not to drop his stuff. Hey, for all we know, the lock got busted before I dropped it. Sales? I've heard that before. Whatever, just finish packing up this junk. I held back for the rest. Animation. Who hires a moving company to move out in the middle of the night anyway? Used to be glad somebody did it, but we needed the job. Hmm, huh, so what about that girl? Should I call her or not? Toll booth operator, ain't got a chance. Uh, it's probably for the best anyway. What's that on it? Oh, jeez, it removes real quick, by the way. So you ever got creeped out driving late at night like this? What do you mean? Oh, you know, it's late. Everyone's asleep. It's gotta be something that slinks out from the shadows. It's better not be about that haunted car again. It's real. Real, maybe, but not haunted. Well, it seemed haunted at the time. You can't scare me with that story. I've heard it a million times. Well, good. That's not even my hairiest adventure. You see, this one is the evil genie. Heard that one. Okay, well. Zombies. Guess I told you a lot of those. Or these. We don't gotta tell, talk the whole time, you know. Cool, listen to the. Jesus Christ, a really fast text on this. What was that? So, you gotta open it. Oh, I ain't opened it. You're the one with all the scary adventures. But there's so much weird stuff in there. You saw it. Just open the door already. <laughs> I can't see anything. Satisfied? Looks like we got a new tale of horror. Night of the tipped over box. Not funny. Oh, there's someone there. What is it? Some kid? <laughs> oh, ha ha ha. What? It's just a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> Who you calling dummy, dummy? I got the boot. Uh, I got the boost bumps. That's not quite goose bumps. It's getting there though. The next day. Finally, school's out for the day, and you're ready for a pleasant walk home. Those clouds look pretty bad though. Was it supposed to rain today? You gotta check the weather, but your cell phone appears to be missing. You must have left it somewhere. But left somewhere, but where? So it's kind of like Shadowgate, this game. Okay. You can examine your environment by moving the cursor to an object or area by pressing left mode and look on the drop down. Well, I'm a master at the. Oh, look at the cursor. It's all gooey. I love this. Alright. Um, drop down is your verb menu. It changes based on the object. Okay. You can look directly by pressing Q or even interact by pressing E. Okay. Uh. Can I- can I look at myself? There's no self thing here, so there's not entirely shadow good, but I like this so far. I like this so far. But I wonder how- how extreme will Goosebumps push it- push it? There we go. Uh, because, you know, shadow good, you can burn yourself, you can do this and that and that. I wonder- I wonder how- how- how mature this will be. It's still, you know, it's for, you know, younger audiences, but, you know, it's still a horror game, so there should be some sort of like, you know, Inherent death, you know, but not maybe as grotesque as Shadowgate, like, you know, suck that into space or whatever, but regardless, um, let's look in the entrance here. The door into the school building. Kids were spraying out of it moments ago. They probably, they're probably halfway home by now. In between areas, select exit with the left mouse button and the shoes move from the drop down. All right. 
Uh, let's open up and... Well, will you ever escape this place? School? No, you're gonna be in college for years. You know, you're gonna be rolled back. Set back since grade school. Uh, let's check this out. With a heavy sigh, you trudge back inside. Ugh. The long, empty hallway stretches into the distance. You stop near your locker. Trust the old 420. Uh, fight! What, what are we, a militant Faris? Is that our mascot team? What's this? What is that? <laughs> See, look, let's look at the paper. Someone left a crumpled paper in the hall. Right, let's take a look at it. You lean down and take the paper. Oh, it looks like a note. An item was added to your inventory. You can select it with left mouse button for additional options. Use items for your environment to solve bosses and progress. Alright, cool. Uh, let's look at this. All right, one straighten out. The note reads, Hey, you found my note. I hoped you could, or would. Sometimes people see these notes in the halls and use the stream to trash! Not you, though. Uh... Okay, uh... Use it on... Uh... Floor? It doesn't fly very far. Rather than letter, you scoop it back up. Oh man, I'm not a rebel! Let's look at the locker here. Your locker. With any luck, your cell phone is in there. Uh, all right, see. It shouldn't be too hard to do. You just need the key from your book bag, which is here. Hang on. Uh, locker key. Use this on the lock. All right. You turn the key and the lock pops open easily. You slide it off and open your locker. All right. Uh, books. Let's look at these books. These are all the books you didn't need for homework. I, I, have, I have a really funny fucking story. Um... Now, it's probably the same for you, but in high school for me, um, uh, I had a shit ton of books, and if you don't return your books by the end of the year, you're getting a massive, like, uh, like a fee. You, you will get deducted for, like, you know, missing books or whatever. Um, here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. Uh, my last year of high school, uh, not to get into private shit, but, uh, you know, I took a year off or whatever. And I just left my locker with nothing in it. And it was just full of shit. And I lost the key to my locker. And... It, they didn't give a shit. They did not give a shit. And... Uh, oh, fuck, my Shadowgate poster actually went down. How ironic. But regardless, uh... Supposedly I was gonna get fined, like... What? Like, seriously, a hundred dollars for it. So I was, like, super afraid of it. So it's one of those cases where if you don't mention anything, they'll never notice. I just kinda, like, strutted out of there, you know, Ugh. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's a different America, you, you, like, actually put your key into it, or, we have, we buy our own locks in Sweden, but, uh, regardless, um, let's see here, let's, let's take one of our books, maybe, you have to book books out of lock, but realize how much space they take up in your bag, you feel like you might need that bag space and put the bags back where you got them, okay. Oh, dude, I got like a babe in my in my locker. You put these stickers up at the start of the year and I'm already sick of them. Your brother was right. The only thing more permanent than tattoos are stickers. S stick carefully. <laughs> Alright. Words from the wise, obviously. Alright, let's see. Alright. Dude, I got, I got some... What is that? Is that Supergirl? Is that... What was her name? Power Girl? The one with like the boob window? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Cell phone. Here it is. Thank goodness it's your cell phone. Seemingly unharmed and fully charged. Alright. You grab your cell phone, cradle it protectively against your chest. You are afraid you'd lost it. After a moment, you calm down and check the phone. Yup, it's still fully charged somehow. Looks like you got a voicemail. Me from Satan! You click play. Hi, private investigator. Oh, dude, I just realized. Dude, Dr. Pepper is at high school, but not only that, he's still a private investigator. Alright, whatever. Hi, Dr. Pepper. I'm just gonna call him that. Uh, hi, Dr. Pepper. It's Mom! Which is my legal name. Just wanted to let you know I'll be home later on tonight. The clients want to make us dinner. Uh, us today? Okay. Chad should be home pretty soon, so you two will need to fend for yourselves. Remember the keys under the back steps. I love you! Alright, I love you too, Mom. Um... <laughs> what else do we have here? Uh, anything else? Stickers? Just a bunch of stickers. What's this? Book? Is the book any different? Okay, what little homework do you have? You can easily be done in the minutes before class tomorrow. Can I- can I do that? You have to feel- ah, I guess. Alright, let's shut this. You slam the locker shut. Alright. Multi ways to move between air. Holding down on the arrow keys, exit the hallways. Okay. Okay, cool. Vote! 
You gladly leave the school building for the second time today. Oh, cool. Maybe we'll get some shit done. The front of your school, the gate's still open, so you should be able to come and go as needed. With your phone in hand, you can now head home. Your phone has a map function to ch chart your journey. You can also call your mother, brother, or information to receive various hints. Alright, cool. Let's get out of here. Walk through the gates to the parking lot. Alright. Uh, the school parking lot is nearly empty, as most of the school's gone home. You can faintly hear the football team practicing in the distance, though. Who's been- who's been ejaculating in the fucking garbage bin? R.L. Stein, have you been, like, you know, coming in the dumpster? Alright. Gross. <laughs> Just look at it. You peer over, trying not to get close, that you can smell it. You fail in the reek of spoiled milk. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Is there any worse smell in the world than fucking old milk? Oh, my God. I have a funny story about this, by the way. Uh, my friend once dared me to drink uh, six-month-old milk. And here's the thing. Here's the weird thing about milk. Milk goes through a phase of being, like, lumpy, then it becomes smelly, but then it just becomes cheese. And I tried it, and it, it was awful, but it was not as bad as the first initial phases of stink. Uh, how did I live? Ugh. Well, uh, yeah, of course better that, but... Ugh. Yeah, spoiled milk is the worst. Ugh. Anyway. Now you're all disgusted, which is, of course, the mood of tonight. Uh, alright. Let's jack a car, let's become, uh... Let's, uh... You know... Let's see, what, what a beatable car. You wouldn't mind one just like it, but you're too young to drive. But not too young to kill. Anyway, uh... <laughs> what are, uh, are we all call you one of me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I supposed to lo uh, walk down here? The ridge lane, kind of sleepy little street. Taking the road home would add 20 minutes, plus it might rain. Well, these, let's just walk, dude. Dusty path. Ugh, great. Dusty gazongas. Yeah, down the path towards a junior shed. It's more overgrown than you expected. By the time you reach a shed, the wind's picked up quite a bit. Your cheeks sting from the cold. What's this? A weed killer. It's a bottle of weed killer with handy two setting nozzle. Yes, we'll take it. You carefully tuck the weed killer into your bag, checking that it set it off, alright? Yeah, so this is a lock, let's look at this. The paddle looks ancient, it's covered in rust. Maybe I can... Look at the tools. What's the point of a shed if it's going to leave all the tools outside? Uh, maybe I can just... Ouch, you slam your fist against the lock, resulting only in bloody knuckles! Alright, now nah, I have a taste for blood! Uh... <laughs> I guess I'm just not supposed to be here yet. You hurry back down the path to the parking lot. School parking lot is nearly empty. Most of the school's gone home. You can faintly hear the football team practicing in the distance, though. Don't forget to save your game frequently in case the unthinkable happens. All right. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Thanks for the advice. Actually. Yeah. Sure. I'll. I'll save. Uh. I guess we can head into the woods. You hike up a well-worn path into the woods. Oh, great. Ah, the familiar sights and sounds of the woods. The bad leads of a bridge and turns into some trees. What's this? A flyer? Oh no, it looks like somebody lost their dog. Poor kid. Maybe it's the, maybe it's uh you know do 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 taro woof 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 I don't know, I'm sorry. Uh anyway, uh Let's take this. You pull the flyer from the tree, just in case you find a similar dog. Alright, this I guess we'll just you know, maybe there's something in the creek. The creek laserly ripples through the woods. Alright, let's check this out. You happily splash around the creek. Your shoes, socks, and pants are soaked. Alright. Hmm, you also kind of smell funny now. Hmm. Can I climb the tree? You don't have time for that right now. But you can totally climb it, to be clear. Alright. Dirt path. That was head Jesus Christ. You cross the bridge and head deeper into the woods. Oh, great. You reach a small clearing, surrounded by trees on all sides. There's a weird guy creeping around. You've never seen him before. Hello? Man? That guy looks around at you, so... But there's something off about him. His clothes are torn, and he won't make eye contact. Take a closer look. You notice his hair is green and kind of leafy. You see bugs crawling around beneath his clothes. Alright, let's talk to him. You'll start to ask the man if he's lost. 
but he grunts at you until unintelligibly. Um, I'm just gonna head over here. You take a few steps around the weird guy, but he spins on you with inhuman speed. Your vision blurs as the plant creature's vines tie you around your neck. You struggle, but it's too late. You're already withering. Oh my god, I got Japanese. Man, oh man. Man, oh man. I have an idea. Maybe we'll use the, the weed killer on him. Yeah. On a hunch, you race the weed killer and pump the trigger three times, spraying the strange figure. He recalls violently as it hits his face. Smoke rises from the wounds, and you smell something freshly cut grass. He retreats to the fo foot of the hill and before falling down, cowering. Alright. Let's bolt out of here. Uh, we can go left or right. What do you guys think? Left or right? <laughs> That's my phone, alright? You know, it's not the 90s anymore when we got, you know, smartphones. <laughs> you have your Game Boy. Uh, what else do we have here? Turn up the volume a little bit. I like the ambient music here. Right? Alright, let's go left. <laughs> Leaves crunch under your feet as you walk down the path. This is the end of the woods. You can go to your high neighborhood just up the hill. Looks like there's some kind of commutation near the tunnel. Hey. Let's look at the crowd. A bunch of kids from school are gathered around. They seem really excited about something. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's that movie, uh, Stand By Me. There's a corpse in the, uh, the end of the sewers, you know. Man, oh man. You ask what's going on, but Tyler, uh, Tyler uh, Alseth just glares at you. Mind your own business, Dr. Pepper. Thought, I was thought it was clear, Tyler says as the crown draws tighter. We found it first. Get lost. Alright. Uh, I guess. How about I how about I pay you taste poison? You aim the weed killer carefully and prepare to fire, but think better of it. Dude, I'm a, I'm a pussy. Violence and chemical warfare solves every fucking problem in the world. Alright, let's just I guess this with large steps you hike up the slope to your neighborhood. So wait, I gotta cross like a like a forest each day. That sucks. Almost home. You think as you step into your neighborhood, your spirits will fall immediately when you notice an accident down the street. The road is completely blocked. You'll need to find a different way around. Let's investigate and check this out. A moving van got into an accident. The back is open and the boxes are spilling out on the street. Hmm. Maybe this is where the doll is. You hurry over to the wrecked moving van. You peer inside the van and see a ton of boxes, along with odds and ends. The crash didn't seem to damage anything. A sense of dread creeps up uh, creeps up the back of your neck. Uh... What is this all this, like, drug peripheral- per there we go. Canister. A canister of something. You gotta keep your distance. That glow doesn't bode well. Let's take this globe. You don't really see that much anymore. You don't really see these much anymore. It's a globe. A map of the Earth. What? Is that Dracula? Looks like a fancy portrait. Por portrait. Por por portrait. Portrait. What am I, French? Though it's too dark to see much detail. Oh, let's check the fucking coffin. It really looks authentic. A thin layer of dust covers it all over. Alright. So maybe open it. You struggle with the handle, but it won't budge. You do manage to kick up a thick cloud of dust. Uh, what is this? Shrunk head. Awesome. It's one of those shrunken heads with a weird olive skin, wispy hair, and high cheekbones. Its eyes and mouth are soon shut. Alright. Maybe you can take it. I can't take it. You pick up the shrunken head. It's cold and slimy. And drop it into your bag. Oh man, we're doing some black magic tonight. Uh, Alright. Maybe this book. Some non script books are stacked up. Encyclopedias, a thesaurus, and a style guide. Boring stuff. Well, once you become a, a man and an adult, you need to use a thesaurus to seem intelligent. You see, you need to, you see, need to see, you need to change your words. You need to use synonymous words to seem intelligent when you're really trying to say nothing. You know, that's why a thesaurus is so good. You know. Anyway, let's take this. You pull out a decent-looking book and dust it off. Shrugging, you place it in your bag. All right, cool. Uh, spin the globe. Spin to win. With a mighty slap, it spins and spins. We're going to stop. A Transylvania! Spooky! Oh, fuck! Uh-oh. 
Look at the boxes. You feel pretty nosy up opening these up to look inside. They're probably full of socks and underwear anyway. What's this over here? It's just the van. The air inside the van is musty. It smells like grandma's house. Threw up inside a- It smells like grandma's house. Threw up inside an antique short. Oh my store. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, a top hat. What is this? What a snazzy top hat. You can see a magician wearing it during his act. Or a atheist Reddit guy. Uh... With a flourish, you make the top hat disappear into your bag. Uh, check the scarecrow. A really imposing scarecrow, pumpkin hat, straw hair, and thread bone hat. Thread, thread bone, thread bear hat. Oh, Jesus. Alright, but can I do something with it? Uh, I don't think so, though. I feel like you shouldn't be here and decide to creep away. It's a sleepy neighborhood street. Uh, what else can I do here? Can I go left? No. There's something going on over here. Idyllic tract homes line the street. You assume a happy nuclear family. I've never heard that expression before. I I I suppose it's just uh you know a, a uh, you know wealthy family. I guess a happy nuclear family lives in each one. What what is that expression? I've never heard that. A happy nuclear family. All right. Well, I'm nuclear. Uh, which we opened the stream with, by the way, the nuclear synth synth pop edition, the '80s one. Anyway, uh, let's see. Maybe we can climb the tree. I, I gotta say, I love the music. It's spooktacular. It's exactly the kind of music I like in an adventure game like this. But uh, so that's the van. Um, something over here. Hang on, let's look at it. Moving really on an accident. All right, maybe maybe I'm supposed to go right. Stuff inside. There we go. Yeah, let's just go over here. I think. Yeah, let's move on to the streets. Oh, it's the same place though. Hmm. Yes, I'm not supposed to be here yet. I guess I can move back to the woods. This is the far end of the woods, just below your neighborhood. The creek flows into a huge drain pipe tunnel. Oh man. Oh, the rabbit. Talk to him. You know, in a game like this, I feel there's something dangerous, so... Let's just say before we do anything. You never know. Alright, let's look at him. It's a small white rabbit. His fur is unkept and seems to be wary of you. Alright, let's talk to him. You kneel down and look into the rabbit's eyes. Hey there, little fellow. Okay, it talks. Huh, <laughs> says the rabbit. To your surprise, I thought those brutes would never leave. With a flash of white, the rabbit disappears into the brush. Oh my god, they've been passing around PCP at the school again. All right, let's look into the pipe tunnel. The tunnel is actually a large drain pipe. The water inside stinks like old socks. All right, let's go into the uh, the metal anus. You hold your nose and slog into the tunnel, taking care to avoid stepping in water. All right. You creep into the tunnel. An unnatural darkness closing around you. Halfway through, you wonder if you will make it. Uh. Let's see here. Oh, what's this? Yeah, let's uh, jump in the hole. What a fantastic idea. Anything over here? Here's the pipe. The, corrug the corrugated metal curves all, up, all the way around. The grooves are large and it's hard to get a grip. Now let's jump in here. With a running start, you dive into a big black hole. Alright. You fall what seems like hours. Falling, falling. That might have been a mistake. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, what's right? There's some Shadowgate deaths in here. Jump the chasm! Alright, let's go over here. The opening. You steal your nerves and push on. Alright, the wash... This wash runs behind many of the houses uh, on your street. You usually... I uh, can't talk. You usually find all sorts of weird junk that people have thrown out here. Alright, chimney. A chimney? How would a chimney even get here? Well, sometimes Santa Claus gets really drunk on tequila, you know, and he just thrashes. Old shoe. A shoe just one lies it alone in the wash. Part of you wonder if its owner is still around somewhere, alright? Uh, let's take it. <laughs> the sighting's better in your hands than out in the elements. You pick up the shoe, alright? Check out this wheel. Something else, a bike wheel. I said a little banged up and too, not too bad. Probably still rolls just fine. Can I take that as well? Spin. You secure the hub of the wheel and spin it with one hand. Seems fine. It clicks and everything, alright? Anything else, maybe? What's this? A deep pool? 
The water here seems to extend forever. You squint, but still can't see the bottom of the pool. Alright, let's take this. Let's see. Getting it down on your knees, you put one on in you put one arm into the pool of water. It's icy chill clings to your skin and you just reach further down. Water rises past your elbow, still haven't hit bottom. You take a deep breath and press on, reaching down, down, and the water laps against your shoulder. You reach left and right, but can't feel anything but water. You start to imagine a hand gripping your wrist and yanking you down beneath the cold surface. It's almost real. Sensation of bony fingers wrapping around you. Tightening. The pool rushing towards your face. You take a desperate breath and hold it, clenching your eyes shut. Moments later, you realize, you realize it's your imagination. You gasp and pull your arm out, soaked but unharmed. Look around to make sure nobody saw that. The coast seems clear. Dude, I thought it was like a skeleton inside the well. Or the pool. Ah, uh, bone man. The bones. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's my home, I guess. You walk across the rocks to the far end and stroll into your neighborhood. Alright. <laughs> what the heck? You take several large gaps and try to calm down. Dog attack as soon as you enter the neighborhood. Thank goodness it's on a leash. Angry dog. This is the dog that tried to eat your face. She's a poodle and you wonder if being psychotic is common in the breed. Uh, I hate poodles. I don't hate dogs. But if there's one, uh... Breed of dog that I can't stand. It's it's poodles. I ugh, I don't know, man. I, I I don't think I've ever seen a poodle that's like loyal and nice. Like when I think of a, a a nice dog, I think of one of those like golden retrievers with one of those like uh uh little uh not napkins but for, what, what, those little uh things around their their neck. You know that like you know. Baseball dog is what I call it. Like, oh, let's go on an adventure, you know, uh, Rufus, you know, go into the woods and, you know, find a corpse, you know, whatever. Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of like at least German Shepherds. Uh, they're kind of little mean a little bit, but I don't know. Golden Retrievers, man. Just so Mastiffs. I like Mastiffs as well, but, you know, even though I kind of don't like poodles, I still like them, you know. But, uh, bandana, yeah, I guess. And the ass caught, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> handkerchief. Whatever. But anyway. Let's talk to him. Hey there, girl. You say in a pleasant voice. Dog growls in response, sending some drool in your direction. Woman. Woman does look familiar. Maybe she's new in town. She's dressed extremely formally for somebody walking her dog. Let's see her. You nervously stammer hello to the woman who turns a disinterested eye in your direction. Alright. Sorry, uh, sorry about the dog. She looks to have given you quite the fright. Uh, what's wrong with the dog? Huh? Oh no, I'm okay. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, that's me talking, I'm sorry. Uh, well, what breed of dog is she anyway? Poodle or something else? Fifi? Yes, she's a very rare subbreed of poodle. One prone to temperamental problems. Is she dangerous? What kind of problems? Is she dangerous? Goodness, no, not to you, not at this moment. But who can say for certain a dog escapes its leash, for example? Do take care. The pair continued their walk down the street. Man, G Milfs! <laughs> oh, what's this? In the mailbox. This is your family's mailbox. You always check it after school because it lets you know if anyone else is home before you get there. Let's open up and see. You open your mailbox, open, there's something in there for you. What's this? Postcard from hell? Coupons. It's a sheet of coupons for your lo local dairy freeze. Uh, you make a note to go there this week. Letter. Let's see here. It's a letter, but it's addressed to someone you've never heard of. Must have been a past resident. Alright. Let's get this. Let's take the coupons. You never know, man. Alright, let's, let's check this out. Use the letter on... Can I, can I just open it? Whatever. Uh, that's all the mailboxes. Four mailboxes? I've... Is this common in America? That seems to be a lot, but yeah, whatever. Or else, wait, wait a minute. Nate, that's my house. I thought that was my house. Oh, Je Jesus Christ! All right. Let's see here. An enormous two-story mansion that looms over the rest of the neighborhood. Normally, it would be pretty awesome, but it's sitting where your normal boring house is supposed to be. All right. No, it's not. All right. No, it isn't. Large house reaches up towards the ominous sky. It's twisted window portals it to madness. What's that? What is that? What is that? Uh, what is that uh, morbid angel song? Maze of torment. Maze of torment. 
Uh, anyway. Well, no, I'm thinking about Chapel of Ghouls. Ghouls attack the church! Crash the holy priest! Anyway. Witness Portal to Manus. This is your address. Address, but this is definitely not the home you left this morning. Hmm. Alright, let's look at the door here. The door is twice as big and easily three times as ornate as it should be. You wonder if your house key will still work. Alright. What did Mom say again? She did say something about, uh... Let's see, take the stairs. They seem to be the same rickety porch stairs you've always had, but when you attach... When attached to this particular house, they seem more sinister. Man, my house is... Alters of Madness! Yeah, there you go, we're some bridges. Anyway, let's see here. You struggle with the knob, but it's not budging. You may as well try your house key, just in case. Where was the house key again? Uh... Can I check my phone, maybe? See, no, I don't want to use anything. Um, let's look. Current battery power, ninety. Let's call. Call mom. Call her mother, and the phone rings twice before she picks up. Oh, I was just about to call you and be a bother. You do remember we keep our spare key under the porch, right? Oh, of course you do. You're not a baby anymore. Sorry, hon. She hangs up. All right. And where's that porch? The porch. Uh, now, this is because I'm not. Uh, my, my native language is not Americano, but. Uh, the porch is. Uh, what is the porch? That's like the porch, right? The grass outside the house, right? Like, what I'm thinking about is like this porch, or. Uh, or, or are you thinking about like under the mat sort of deal? I, I'm really confused here. Uh, <laughs> porch should be in front of the house. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I figured that as well. All right, the porch, the porch. Where would the porch be in this case? Let's see, you struggle with the knob, but it's not budging. Uh, house, the porch, the doorstep. That's what I'm thinking about. That's the lawn. The porch is in the in the. Uh, it raised area in front of the house. Alright. I guess I can come back here later though, but uh, yeah, I'm a little confused by this. Porch. <laughs> Maybe it's really good that I'm playing a game, you know, uh, aimed at a younger audience for, you know, English speakers, because, you know, hey, my English is not that of, you know, a, uh, a, an adult, you know, I, I, I speak baby speak, you know. Uh, but anyway, let's just move on to the next story. You hopped on the streets and back on the- yeah, okay. What's going on with the neighbors here, by the way? Let's check them out. You're definitely on the right street. You're positive this is your neighbor's house. The girl who lives here used to babysit you. Alright. What else? What else? You guys can go to the ba backyard. You keep along the side of your fence into the backyard. Alright. In spite of the weirdness in your neighborhood, your backyard provides a welcome retreat. A retreat, rather. A peach, a peaceful, quiet blanket of enclosure. All right. The toy truck. You dump the truck in your bag with the rest of your stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah, toy trucks like this growing up, but this is not one of them. You've never seen it before today. Uh oh. Grill. Just a grill. Get out of here. This is a Charmeister old ult elite ultimate grilling system. Get out of here. Tire swing, let's see this. Ah, the good old tire swing. You got a lot of memories tied up in this wheel of fun. <laughs> swing it. You giddily, is that how you pronounce it? Giddily? You giddily run up and jump on the tire. As it flies forward and you lean back, you close your eyes and can't help but shouting, Wee! The moment passing, you reluctantly lower yourself to the ground. You hold the swing until it stops moving and step away. Life's so much more complicated now. I know, right? You got fucking Texas up the ass. Maybe I can climb the tree. Let's take this tree out. You and Shad used to compete to climb this tree. Until at one time, Mom found him and the man he got down immediately. He broke his arm and- Oh my god! Chad! You idiot. This tiny T-Rex is ferocious looking. Who's been playing dinosaurs back there? Alright, you slip the dinosaur toy into your pack. It might be useful later, alright. It's Mom's standard gardening spade. Great for planting bulbs and digging up weeds. Alright, you brush out the dirt and- Tuck the spade into your things. Alright, isn't this where you keep the key? The hole, maybe? Let's see. You crouch down and lean your head under the porch for a better look. What's this? Cola can? It's a beat up cola can. Nobody would think to look in here for a spare key. Ah, uh, let's shake. Ah! 
This is what they meant with the porch, I see, okay. You pick up the coal and kind of shake it. Listening to this, the spare key clanks around inside. After a moment, it falls out. Alright. You take the spare key. Alright. Anything else in here? Uh, Alright. Can I just maybe go in the back door? So I should lead her into the laundry room, but it's locked. Well, fortunately, this door takes a different key than the rest of the house. Alright. And I can just head back. It's Dr. Pepper! Brother! Alright, cool. Let's use this on here. You slip your house key into the lock and cross your fingers. You turn the key and the door opens. Maybe it's your house after all. Alright, let's move in. You pull open the heavy door and enter the house. This is without a doubt not your house. Mom would never let the entryway get this dirty. You can smell the dust and the decay in the air. Uh, alright. Let's see here. Portraits. Strange portraits hang on the wall. They're not anyone you recognize. Alright. The archway. It's dark, but you think you make out a dining room through the art doorway. Let's check this out. You're across the f foyer to the dining room. You step in the dining room and spring back. Immediately notice a woman at the table. She eyes you intently like a hawk searching for prey. Alright. Let's look at her. Never seen this woman before in your life. How did she get in? Maybe she lives here. In the haunted version of your house, that is. Alright. Let's save. A toothy... Oh. Crone. Uh... Through the ring, spreads across the woman's face before she speaks. There you are. Come give me a big kiss. Give kiss or no way. Hubba bubba. You know, I might be 12, but... You know, I'm hung like an elephant. Dr. Pepper. Should I do it? Yeah, let's, let's do it. You know, little... All right. You hesitantly you walk towards a woman, then lead a uh, wrinkled cheek. It's clammy and loose. She smells like dust, mothballs, some spice you can't quite describe. What, like old spice? That's better. Now you're on to Dahlia. Pour a glass of prune juice. Your favorite. Down the hatch. Uh. I guess let's drink it. Yeah. Bottoms up. You sit down at your place and lift the glass to your lips. It smells thick. Thick and dark. You hold your nose and take a large gulp, hoping to finish it as quickly as possible. It burns as it slides down your throat. Hubba bubba. Suddenly your muscles tighten. Exhaustion creeps over you and your vision blurs. You feel... Older. Ooh. Your shoulders hunch and your chest sinks in closer to the table. A raspiness grows in your lungs with every breath. You think it might be nice to take a nap, just for a few minutes. As you close your eyes, you look at Aunt Dahlia. <laughs> She's laughing. Damn it! Damn it! I want to be like a like a you know I'm an adult man and get some puss. <sighs> What's going on here? Yikes! Three children ma materialize before your eyes, which you are rubbing in disbelief. This really isn't haunted house. All right, so uh, we got uh, Jarvis. Uh, uh, who, 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 who she? Who, who, who was, who was, uh, kids next door? Number five, whatever. And what I believe is Vinny. Sup, Vinny? The boy mumbles quietly as you approach. I want to hear the song, but I can't find it. He digs his foot into the carpet nervously. If I look, it'll make wake mom and dad. It really is Vinny, huh? Alright, uh. <laughs> uh, Abby. Young Sha. Dude, yeah, it's Shaggy. Like song scoob? I mean the wrong, wrong shit for children. Again! Nine. Like, oh, copyright a Frenchman. Woo! Alright. Let's see here. No sooner do you look in her direction, but then she starts shouting. You're not supposed to be here! Get out of my house! Strangers aren't allowed to go in. Go away, go away, go away! She glares, willing you out of existence. Can't fool me, she grumbles. I was born late here. I know things. <laughs> what? I know things. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Can't fool me, she grumbles. I was born on late deep here. I know. <laughs> I love. I love that th thinking. I was born. I know things. Oh my god, I love this character. She's hilarious. 
Oh, fuck. Alright, I know things. She talks like me, dude. I know things. I know the things. Anyway, blonde boy. Hey. You try to get his attention. And he looks towards you. I live here. You, you know? I go into the basement. He looks away, uh, embarrassed. After a moment, he continues, You believe me, don't you? Uh... They are all dead. Let's go up the stairs. Nervously ascend to the stairs to the rooms unknown. The staircase connects the first and second floors of the house. What's this? You've never seen this portrait before. It looks like a creepy sea captain. Maybe it's your grandpa before you were born. Probably not. Dude. I wish my grandpa was a fucking pirate. What's this? You can't shake the feeling something is missing from this painting. And... A little girl, maybe. She looks like a little old for the rest of the picture. We'll pick this out. Alright, let's move up here. You tramp up the stairs into the first hallway. You stand up in the stairs upstairs hallway, which seemed relatively untouched. What's this chandelier doing here? Sometimes at night, this light flickers. It's the creepiest thing. Hang on, my headphones went out. Um, Alright, let's look in the door here. The study is through here, where Dad keeps the family computer. Oh man, let's fuck it up and download boobs. Alright. <laughs> Dad's st study's locked, like it's always when he's out of town. The key should be around somewhere. Maybe under the rug? Your brother hid under this rug once, in the worst hide-and-seek decision ever. Alright. I'm in Dio's mansion, that's where I am. A familiar family, family photograph, Com comforting. Alright. I'm not in a lamp, maybe. Uh, it won't open. Mom's right. It is annoying when somebody locks your bedroom door. Do. Uh, end table. Let's see. You always thought this end table was a bit spooky looking, but compared to the stuff you've seen today, not anymore. Uh, Alright. What's this? A familiar fa family photograph. Comforting. Yeah. Alright. Maybe I can just go here? Oh, no! <laughs> There's not in the lock on the door, but it's not opening. It feels like someone's on the other side, holding it shut. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, Maybe I can move the door. Alright, nothing here. In my room. No! No! <laughs> Alright, I guess I can't really do anything here. I, I, I assume it was under the rug. That's like the most stereotypical cliche thing ever, but... I guess not. I guess I'm heading down again. Then in the first step, you walk backwards down the stairs. Alright, anything over here? Hang on, right hall. Left hall, okay, right hall is over here. Top of the stairs, heading across the landing. This hallway that crosses over to the entryway downstairs, to the furthest reaches of the house. What's this? Wall frame. Re records of your family, man. Your family's many adventures. Somehow, adventure always means hours in the car. Alright, uh, maybe under the. Let's see here. Uh, what made this? Oh, great. Hang on. The big door. You try pushing, you try pulling, but nothing will open this door. It's being held shut. Hmm. Look at this channel here. There's a bug skittering inside the light. Close it. Oh, this, this is open. The door opens, but not without some effort. The frame seems a little warped. Alright, let's check this out. Pass through into the next room, dodging a bit of falling plaster as you pass through the doorway. It's just a dead end. The hatch in the ceiling should lead to the attic. What is happening here? Wall. This looks weird. If you didn't know any better, you'd swear the wall just moved. Look in the attic. The attic is too high to reach. You hear a dull grinding all around you. Is it coming from the walls? Let's look at the pipe here. The pipe is the only notable feature of this room. There are several rusted areas, it's seen better days. You slam your close fist in the pipe. You hear ringing from the pipe and in your ears. Pain rings up your arm too. Oh! There's no doubt about it. The room is shrinking. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Maybe I should just, like, get out of here. You leave the room. Yeah. This hallway crosses over the entryway downstairs to the first reach of the house. Alright. Can I go left, maybe? That's down to the stairs again, but, uh... Hmm. Bail! 
Give me power, dinosaur. Use. Use dinosaur on, uh, on, on the, the big door. Rawr! The toy makes cool sounds when you shake it. <laughs> uh... I was always a almost a jewel sandwich, which we really should play the original Resident Evil for Spooky Saturday sometime. It'd be great. Uh, oh, dude, I've totally forgot. It's Spooky Saturday, and I didn't even play the intro of Spooky Saturday. Ugh, that's terrible. I need I need to shape up, dude. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's move him again. See if there's anything I can do. Should lead to the attic. Anything I can get up here with. The old shoe. The shrunk had the note. Do, uh, do it now! Uh, 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 uh. uh, how dare you! I feel like you probably crushed this pipe somehow, but uh, I don't have anything to do it with. These walls are all the same, though. And the floors are the same as well. Hmm. You guys got any suggestions how to get out of this situation? Well, situation, situation, you know, I, I'm, fr I'm free to leave. I'm free to leave, but still. Maybe just keep hitting the pipe. Alright, try it again. You slam your closed fist in the pipe, you're ringing from the pipe. The room's grown too small for you to fit. You attempt to stop the oncoming walls by wedging yourself between them, it, but it's a losing battle. Jesus. Yeah, let's put on the hat, maybe. Use on... There's no my, myself. There's... N Hang on, maybe I can uh, just look at it. It's nice to talk of the magician during this act. Uh. Smush. Spray the pipe. <laughs> Alright. The weed killer. <laughs> Isn't the right tool for the job. Oh, shit. Uh... It's not. I'm gonna head down the stairs again. Maybe the uh, maybe the kids will give some insight into it. All right, here we go. Oh, what's this? What's this door? Uh, come on. You feel a strange energy around it. The assume is locked from time being. Can I go back into the? Uh... Yeah, I can. I can. Something I can do here. What's this? This is a prune juice. <laughs> There's only one good thing that came out of the Transformers movies, and it's that black guy going, Grandma, drink your prune juice! <laughs> I don't know, I always thought that was peculiar, but, uh... Deco plates. I can just go in here, hallway. Past the table. Oh, it's this. The dentist where the family gets to watch TV. You just hang out together. You don't wanna... You don't wanna hang out in this version for too long, though. Oh, man, 4x3 television. Let's hook up a Nintendo to it. What's this, a film? It's a roll of film. We can load this into a camera and take pictures. Alright, cool. Maybe I can, like, uh, kill ghosts with it. You take the film and away from safekeeping. Maybe you'll find a camera later. <gasps> there is video games! What's this? You think it's some kind of video game console? It's older than you are, though. Oh, man! Oh, man! What's this? Aren't there enough videos in your life? Whoa! Wh what? Aren't there enough video games in your- Whoa, what? What? Man, my god, I've been brainwashed by mom. That's what my mom told me when I was, you know, it's like, you have enough video game j games, Joel. Why didn't, wh why would you want more? I'm just like, well, what are you talking about? I gotta have all the video games. Aren't there enough video games in your life right now? Yeah, uh, well, 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 Goosebumps, uh, you, you know, I, I, yeah, I, I, I guess so, huh? Bye. No, just kidding. <laughs> Holy shit. Anyway, let's see here. Coffee table. Sturdy coffee table like this is great for doing homework while watching TV. This is a remote. It's a television remote. Useful controlling the TV from across the room. Uh, fuck off, R.L. Stein. Let's just take this. You hide the remote inside your backpack. Maybe I can, like, activate this now on the television. Fast forward. Mute stop power. Nothing seems to work. Hmm. Oh, dude, it's, it's Uncle Steve. Hey, there's something deeply unsettling about this picture hanging on the wall. There's something in the lamp. Something deeply unsettling about the picture hanging on the wall, I guess not. What's this? A couch. Yeah, let's sit on the couch. Uh, you lean back and let the cushion support you. This is the life. 
Really, it's like you're still inside a dark, creepy per perversion of your house. You snap out of your ravine. Let's look at this clock. You've heard of grandfather clocks, but this must be a great grandfather clock. It seems very old and expensive. I can examine. You're moving for a closer look at the clock. Puzzle thing. What's this? Tab. Let's see here. These little tabs need to mark different years. They demonstrate just how old this clock really is. Uh, let's select my year when I was born. Let's see here. This little stamp seems to be marked different years to demonstrate just how old this clock really is. All right. Hmm. 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 I do like the the uh, the skulls on this though. Let's see here. This clock is impressively built. It's definitely the type of thing that stays in family for generations. But whose family brought it in here? All right. Uh, what else do we have here? Bookshelf. Let's see. The bookshelf stretch from floor to ceiling. Follow your dad's book collection. All right. Let's just see here. You push and pull several books to check for secret passages, but no such luck. The most you found was a paper cut. All right. Uh, let's check it. Maybe you slide so many horses off the shelf and into your collection. Wow. What? I I didn't realize my 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 mom was into that kind of book reading. Hey now. Yeah, I am 22. I'm, I'm not that old, but, uh, but yeah, nothing here. Turn on. Press the power, but nothing happens. No sound, just nothing. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Hang on, pictures. I'm settling about the pictures. All right, let's go in here. Crack the door and peek through. It looks like it leads to the laundry room. All right, let's move in here. Goodbye, horses. I'm flying over you. <laughs> Dry is running at the moment. Alright, let's open it up. You talk on the handle, but it won't budge. Suds! It's my favorite detergent, man! Let's see, a supply a supply cupboard to hold all your laundry supplies. Alright, what's this? Detergent, let's take it. You have to laundry soap in your bag. That's the detergent. That's more ass. Yeah, I see. okay. Fade a label promise to get your collars bolder and make your white smolder. Alright, and this is the dryer sheet. It's a box of fabric softener sheets. The basket. The basket's full of dirty clothes. You hope laundry was on a chore this week. Smell! <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god. Let's look in the closet. You open the door, eagerly find out what's this new room. Oh, dude, it's Narnia! Step away from your safe, normal laundry room, alright? It is Narnia! Oh my god. You stand at the foot of infinity. Oh, what's this? A film. Another one, huh? You took the fail of a safekeeping, you'll find a camera later. Alright. Uh, don't. <laughs> Move? Don't. <laughs> Are they all gonna be like this? Don't. Alright, I guess we're not doing that then. What is going on here? Can I look at it at least? Cannot, it cannot exist. Well, it is so. Too bad. Look at the bridge here. Cross it forever to the next. Can I just maybe... I guess not. I guess we're not going over here then. All right, how do I head back? Uh, heading back, heading back. I guess I gotta do this. Go like this. Drift away. All right, what's in here? Slide open the latch and pull the door open. Head out the door and down the porch steps into the backyard. All right. Ah, uh, this is where this is. All right, cool. I should really do a save as well. With MC Escher Nightmare. That's my house. Alright, let's open this up as well. I don't think the bathroom is locked. You knock on the door, there's no response. Wasn't there like a like a no, I'm thinking about Captain Underpants. Or uh, did you guys ever read those uh, books as kids? Cap Captain Pants or, or Captain Underpants or whatever? Uh but there was something in Sweden here called uh like Doctor Toilet. Hang on. Uh this this is not really essentially my childhood, but uh you know, this is what we had in Sweden. I swear to God, Dr. Toilet. I don't know why, but I, you know, he's got a skull on the belt and... Well... <laughs> I swear to God, this was a real show for kids. I swear to fucking God. Ugh, my God, Jesus Christ. Dr. Toilet. 
cap their underpants. Yeah, there, there you go. It was called Dr. Underpants. Who's been banging on the fucking pipes? Chill out, dude. See, the dryer's running and it sounds like there's something inside. You can't tell what's going- you, you can tell what it is through the window. Maybe I can just deactivate it. Oh, this thing is not opening. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, Swedish, Swedish stuff. Uh, what else do we have here? Nothing in here either, huh? Maybe I can, uh, like, detach the wire, maybe. Uh... I don't think there's anything here. Iron board, maybe. It's a wall mounted flip down iron board. Mom, iron so rarely you can't remember seeing it down, though. Even still, of all the boards you've seen, this one has to be the most irony. That's a terrible choice of words. This one has to be the most irony. There, there, there's a, there's a layer of, of jokes here that I can do, but no. I guess that would be pretty ironic. Uh, Alright, anything else we have here? I guess we can go... Feel the carpet! You run your hand along the carpet, no sign it's indeed extremely soft and comfortable. <laughs> you know it. Alright. Anything else? Place map. Yeah, let's take this. You want to take it for later, alright? Can I take a candle, maybe? Let's get the green. Maybe I can take several. Maybe. Now, I figured it was something behind it. Chandelier. I finally crafted the credits. Clear a lot of thoughts went into the design a little bit art. But if I use the weed killer on, on, on the lady? Taste chemical warfare. But she's not quite sure what to make of it. She grins sweetly, to be polite. <laughs> Alright, I guess not. Hmm. I know! Ghosts don't like chemicals! <laughs> That's not funny. You made him sad. Cheer up, emo kid. Alright. And this was closed. Hmm. Well, let's go out for the mirror. I feel there's maybe something out of the streets, maybe. Punch her in the head! And I can also go back, which... I don't think we should be going back, actually. I don't think we're here. Can I also... No, that's it, that's it. That's the direction. I missed a room, apparently. Um, where would that be? And these are all closed, yes? No! Nothing here. There's apparently another room where the lady was. Let's check that out. What was this? Wait a minute. Where, where's this? Oh, okay, there is another room, actually. I didn't see that. Viewers, beware! You're in for meatloaf. The kitchen looks like a period piece from a time you want nothing to do with. You immediately notice a dripping sound. You strain to hear the source of the dripping. It's so faint it will be hard to find it. You struggle to think of ways to make it louder. You want to track it down the drip. The drip? But you need to increase the volume, alright? Uh, what's this? Disposal, let's see. Your parents are the drain, look into the garbage disposal. Garbage disposal. Meet so and so. I dare you to name what reference that is from. Anyway, there's something else down there. Something shiny. <clears throat> I guess we can look here in the window. See the neighbor's house on the other side of this window, but it feels worlds away. Alright. Do let's stick our hand down the blender! Mom's been on a smoothie kick lately, but they're easy to eat on the run. Alright. <laughs> yep, yeah, holy shit, you guys caught it! I can't believe other people like watch Teen Girl Squad. The ugly one! Corn is no place for a mighty warrior. Alright, let's see here. The refrigerator is, well, green. It's incredibly green. Alright, you grip the handle firmly and pull open the fridge. Oh, what's this? Jelly Jam. Oh man, sweet. Jelly Jam branded fruit preservatives. Trusted Jelly Jam for only the best jellies and jams. Sure thing. Alright, let me take this. Oh yeah. And what's this? Purple stuff. It's a large bottle of juice. You're not really a fan of... You're not really a fan. Drinking stuff like this makes you feel like an old man. You know. Yeah. 
Let's see here. The fridge is well green, incredibly green. Can I open it? Toaster. You can't think of the last time you need made toast. Yep, the toaster's right out of the counter. Dishwasher. Let's open this up. Open it, but we'll bring your chores to the stark relief. There will always be time later. All right. Uh, what else do we have here? The drawer, maybe. You pull the drawer open. What's this? The talisman. It's somebody, somebody's art project. They created a metal with ingredients found in nature. You said it looks like a talisman. All right, let's take it. Maybe you can ward off some of this weirdness. Maybe I gotta, like, use it on the ghosts. All right, but let's see here. Sink. Something down there, something shiny. It's under the sink. Soap, dish soap. How about a liquid soap? It claims to leave your dishes squeaky clean and your hands sneaky soft. I'm gonna take it. Who knows? Are this spang spangle bab? Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> a suspicious looking sponge. As you move left and right, it almost seems to be following you watching. Speaking about sponges, you can check out uh, Vinny's newest video. Uh, he made a he made a did you know gaming spoof on on this, uh, what should we call it? Uh, sponge. Quite funny actually. I mean, I, I left a comment on it, but it's just a game theory. All right, let's see here. Let's take this. Against your better judgment, you pass the sponge into your bag. All right, that's 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 that. All right, I need to maybe the the pipe leads from a sink down into the sewer. Eventually, it seems sturdy enough. Can I open it? Let's look at the panel here. Wood panel has been hastily attached here. You wonder what they did? Why they did that? Maybe I can. Spade it open. Let's see, you jab the spade uh, inefficiently. Turns out there are problems too big for this shovel to handle. Alright, whatever. Bleh, bleh. Hmm. Can I unscrew this, maybe? Uh, oh, what's this? Um, hmm. I don't think there's anything we can do with the pipe. Which I I thought just you know getting the drain here we could fish out it fish it out. <laughs> Use the talisman as the uh, all right. You hold the talisman close and it vibrates a little. That's a neat trick. Uh, there's something we can probably open this up with, but what? Uh, hmm. Maybe the shrunken head. <laughs> Feel the vibrate slightly in your head. You go increasingly like this and decide to put it away. Hmm. You guys got any suggestions what to do here? Shit, my phone's going off. Maybe I need a recharger soon. What's this? What's the light? Planner. Mm. Toaster. Maybe the cupboards. Pantry. Alright, that's what they call it. This is a purple peanut butter. Oh, it's just jelly. No, wait. The label says purple peanut butter. Okay, then. All right, let's take it. Let's make a sandwich. Yeah. Jello jam on purple peanut butter. Feeling vaguely hungry, you decide to bust out the jam. It's sweet and tart, just the way you like it. Reminds you of the old peanut butter and jelly they served at camp last year. Well, she always thought it was a really weird combination, you know. But I actually eat that as well. I, I, I'm a sucker for it. You guys, specifically, like, you, your, your, your culinary snack cuisine has had a major impact on my life. Like, if it weren't for you guys, I probably would have never tried this insane combination, but, uh, yeah. Peanut butter and jelly is actually pretty good. But, the problem is, uh, we don't have, uh, um, uh, like, grape jelly. We have strawberry jelly a lot. Like, uh, I, I guess it's grape jelly or whatever, but, uh, yeah, the jelly here is usually raspberries, strawberries, or, um, like, uh, uh, blackberries, or what do you call it? Black or uh, whatever. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And the problem is, too, there's too much, too much fucking healthy bread in Sweden. Like, essentially, you always get, like, uh, like, carrot bread, or, you know, wheat bread with, like, seeds in it. Like, when I think of a peanut butter jelly sandwich, I think of, like, just shitty white bread, like, wonder bread. Like, what is it called? Uh, Jif bread. Not Yif bread, which is something entirely different. But, uh, you know, you need shitty bread, and you need, uh, shitty ingredients to do it. You know, uh, anyway. Strawberry jelly is best with butter, my personal favorite. Yeah, I've actually tried that before. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, regardless, but, uh, let's go back here and see if we can do anything. Maybe the sponge, maybe? Nah. 
Squeeze the sponge holding it far between your fingers as possible. A bit of water sleep seeps between your fingers. You win at this. You win this time, sponge. <laughs> the gift bread. Wonder bread. Oh my god. Uh, I'm kind of stuck here, actually. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can. Hang on. Stupid thing, but sponge on. On the garbage disposal. It's a good way to grind up a perfectly good sponge, but a terrible way to retrieve an object from a drain. Well, I tried, man. Give me some credit. Maybe the talisman may be on the garbage disposal. That's a good way to grind up a perfectly good talisman, but a terrible. All right. Hmm. How do we get this out of here? Which I am assuming this is the key. Maybe I can just do the detergent in the. Uh, uh, I have no idea what to do. Uh. I used the hat on 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 the garbage disposal. <laughs> uh, hmm. Try pouring the purple drink down the drain. All right, the purple drink. Oh, I can drink it. Let's try. Let's try to drink it. Let's see here. Probably gonna die, but we go anyway. You decide there's only one way to determine what strange brew this is. You tip the bottle to your mouth and sip gingerly. Prune juice, maybe. Your recent cl cloud in a way of exhaustion. Where so are you? Feel incredibly weak. Wrinkle stretch. Oh, dude, I got old dead. All dead. Ah. All right, let's move in here again. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and I gotta take all the items again, I, I guess. Hmm. What else do we have here? I still have that. I'm just gonna take the the purple drink and pour it down the fucking drain. Or well, maybe I can just do this. Actually, do this on the sink. Feel like pouring out those juice would just create a sticky mess, and that's the latest thing you need today. In my pants. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm. Get oh, I, I can't load actually. What the hell? All right. Yeah, whatevs. And the dishwasher is nothing, huh? Maybe I can blend the dinosaur in the uh, in the <laughs> in the blender. Rawr! I guess not. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give some peanut butter and jelly to to the kids. Maybe they'll like it. You know, what kind of ghost doesn't like culinary cuisine? Talisman as well. But I feel there's something we should do here that I, I'm totally missing. But uh, regardless, uh, let's see here. I have a, to a toy dino. No! She hits toy dino right out of your hand. Team Girl Squad! So and so! What's your face? The ugly one! Anyway. You just want to take all my stuff. Well, you can't. I locked my room. Alright, guys. I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the, the ghost trick. No! She hits the film. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Alright. The power of the devil! No! Alright. <clears throat> How about the purple stuff? No! <laughs> Cheerleader! Oh my god. I wanna look so cool! Man, I miss video games. I always forget the cheerleader. Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, Alright, it's time to kill a ghost. Alright, ghost. I love you, but uh, you gotta die twice. No! Alright. Jesus Christ. Uh... You guys want to read about horses? An equestrian page turner called "So Many Horses." All right. Do you like ponies? No. <laughs> well, what do you like? Uh, improper sentence. Uh, you know what? M m maybe you'll like a hat. You look like you need a hat because you 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 stink of fedora. That's not funny. Oh, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh. How about you, uh, Jake Lloyd? It's working! It's working! He stares at the top head and back at you. His hollow eyes bore into you. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I want. I, you know what I want to see? I want to see a fucking atheist ghost. That it, it doesn't believe in himself. Which, I mean, yeah, atheism doesn't really have to do nothing with ghosts, but... Uh, wouldn't that be great? Like a, like a, like a fedora-tipping ghost. You know. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of lost here. What to do? Uh, hmm. The coupons. You found this coupon mailer in your mailbox. Looks like some great deals going on at the moment. Anything else? Anything else? The house plant. The plant looks about how you feel. What's going on? Where's your family? Are they safe? I'm Batman. Alright. There's nothing I can do here either, huh? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, the Scooby-Doo reboot ain't looking too good. Have you guys seen the new fucking Scooby-Doo reboot? Like, for real. Like, no bullshit. Have you seen it? Oh my god. I, 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 I puked a little bit in my mouth. I swear to god, this is how it looks. It just... What the fuck, dude? What the f- What was this, like, Seth MacFarlane bullshit? Fuck- Fucking hell, look at it. I can just imagine, like, the cutaway gags and the, the, uh, lol so random humor in this. Like, could you imagine just, you know, Scooby sounded like, like, PETA! PETA! Like this one time we had dinner with Gary Cooming! You know? I'm, I'm, su I'm surprised Family Guy doesn't have a laugh track, because, you know, the people that watch Family Guy doesn't seem to know when they're supposed to laugh. They just kind of just incoherently laugh throughout it, just, they don't even know when it's funny or not, you know. It's a pop culture reference. I better laugh. I don't know. I I, I kind of dislike Family Guy a lot. I'm I'm sorry if you like that sort of stuff. More power to you. But for me, Family Guy has always been like that that guy, that that fat guy in a Hawaii shirt that thinks it's really funny. But in reality, you're like, could you like you know choke and die? <laughs> Oddly specific. I know. I'm sorry. Oh man. Oh man, I'll tell you one thing though. I'll tell you one thing. The, these Scooby Doo shows have gotten really sexual as of late. Uh, like Hubba Bubba, Hubba Bubba. You guys know how I feel about stuff, but uh, I gotta show you this. Like I swear to God, this is real. Hang on. Uh, uh, where where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> yeah, here it is. I think. Oh my God, sweet Jesus. Jesus. Uh, where is it? God damn it. Yeah, this was on a real show. Alright, fine. Oh, do you guys remember this, by the way? This fucking trite garbage. Before I found this one picture that, that I, I was shocked at, but... Do you fucking remember this show? This show right here? Hang on, if I can download it, fucking... Image Shack or whatever this garbage is. Uh, yeah. You remember this show? What was it called? What's new, Scooby-Doo? No, no, what a pop called Scooby-Doo. No, what, what is this one called? This was that era in the 90s where everything had like a kid version, like Scooby-Doo babies and Tom and Jerry babies, or, you know, fuck, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna find this. Where is it? Yeah! Swear to God, this is real! Like, ugh. Ugh! Hubba bubba! Ugh! God damn! What are you trying to like blow my dick off, Elma? Jesus Christ! Like in my generation, we saw a little bit of leg, and that 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 got our rocks off. Kids these days, they must be fucking ejaculating down a storm drain. I don't even know what that means, but fuck me! God damn! That's for kids. Like who, who, who? I oh, if you know what I mean. Hey, <clears throat> Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, look at this. Anyway, I was talking about what? Boost bumps? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, calm down there, Joel. Phew. 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 Oh, man. Anyway, um... Let's go back here. Jinkies, that's what I say. Uh... I think there's something to do with the clock here as well. Look. When was Goosebumps actually released? Like in the 90s? Wasn't it like, like 94? Uh, maybe I can just try them. No, I don't think so. 
This particular tab is loose on the others. Can they be removed? Ooh, what's this? Yeah, well, remove it. Do, do something with it. Maybe shovel it out. You hit the clock with every spade. Feel better now? Because nothing happened. But well, ah. All right, maybe the talisman. Feel better now? Hmm. Maybe something with the pendulum. No. Oh, there we go. At a metered, r m metered rate. R.L. Stein was born that year? No. It's 92. Was it? Uh. Hit the thing with a shoe. Well, I, I, what? You, you want me to do the spider approach? Are you insane? Uh, I guess not. I can't just do that. Can it be removed? I wonder what I should use on this. Uh, the shrunken head. What, you guys want to use that? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Isn't like R.L. Stein like a 200 years old? He's like an old lich. Right. You know what? Can I call mom? Mom! Hey. Let's see here. You call your mother and the phone rings twice before she picks up. Hi there, Pepper. Make sure to check the mail. I'm expecting something for your father's birthday. Please don't look at the mailbox if you walk by it too much. Shanks up. Alright, maybe I can call my brother. Yo, bro. Let's see here. Hi, <laughs> uh, you've reached Chad. Except you also missed Chad. Sorry. I'm probably busy doing something important, or at least something, whatever it is. You could, like, leave a message, though. That'd be cool. I might call you back if I remember. Hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, I gotta do this. Use letter on... Uh... <laughs> me? Can I just read it? Hang on. But decided it would be wrong since it's not addressed to you. But come on! It's, it's a... It's a crazy day. Hmm. The map. Oh, this is the map, huh? Oh, what's this? I haven't been here yet. Maybe there's like a secret passage or something. Check this out. Yeah, I haven't been here. Oh, that's that's the infinite uh, crazy place. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck here for now. Tell you what, guys. Uh, I guess we'll continue this uh, a little later. But I had a lot of fun with this game. It's uh, it's very reminiscent of Shattergate. It's a point and click a game, and uh, you know. It's giving me the goosebumps. <laughs> you know, I, I like this a lot, actually. Uh, I actually find this actually more scary than a jump scary AAA game. I swear to God. I swear to fucking God. I'm not even kidding about that. Uh, but, yeah, I had a lot of fun with goosebumps, and uh, I should definitely stream more of this, because, you know, fun stuff. Fun, fun stuff. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, that's it for Goosebumps today. I'll be back in a little while, and I'll do some more Undertale, so uh, uh, don't go anywhere. And, you know, viewers beware. You're in for a goddamn fucking scare. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be right back. Sit tight. I'm going to say first.